guys welcome back to new video and in this video we're gonna deep dive into cotton flows and try to understand it let's get started with our video first question is what is cotton flow cotton flow represent asynchronous data stream that emits value sequentially think of it like a stream of water it is further classified into two types hot flow and cold flow and we're gonna discuss it with an example so that for you it's very easy to understand so for that i'm gonna create here a main function return type of this main function is a unit and we're using here unblocking to create a coroutine of course now in this we have one more function naming cold flow which will create a cold flow so in order to create a cold flow we'll usually use flow builder in this i'm gonna repeat a loop for 10 times produce delay of 500 millisecond and at the end i'm gonna emit the values so emit function is used when you want to emit values from your flow so this is my cold flow and now i'm gonna create a variable naming cold flow and use this cold flow function to initialize this variable launch a new coroutine use cold flow and attach collector collect in this i'm using print ln first collector and print the values one by one i'm going to introduce here delay of uh, two seconds then after i'm going to launch a new coroutine use cold flow and collect the values one by one and in this i'm going to use here print ln second collector and print its value just execute this function to see its behavior so first collector 0 1 2 3 then it eventually start the second collector 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 similarly for the first collector it goes up to 9 over here as you can see so the first point is cold flow never start emitting values until and unless it has a single collector if it does not have any collector it will never emit a single value now here in my case we have attached two different collector first collector over here and second collector over here now if you notice when we attach the second collector it already emit few values to my first collector still it gives all of the previous emissions too so let me show you the execution over there you can see so first collector emit 0 1 2 3 and when it attach the second collector to my cold flow it restart the emission that means it start emission from 0 1 2 3 like that that means with cold flow if you attach a new collector you will receive all of the previous emissions too so this is what cold flow is so now we want to discuss hot flows so for that let me create here a hot flow with the help of mutable shared flow we'll create it next we gonna launch a new coroutine and in this coroutine attach a collector so hot flow collect print ln this is my first collector print the values just below to it i'm gonna introduce a delay of one second so that the attachment of my collector will be successfully completed we gonna emit the value hot flow and in this we'll emit the two emissions so first and second so when you execute it you will see the first and second emission now what will happen if i attach one more collector and re-execute it okay so first collector receive the first emission and the second emission but second collector doesn't receive any of them this is because with hot flow it cannot restart the emission again when you attach a new collector it emits the latest value to all of the collector that you have been attached over the hot flow but with cold flow it is not the case it simply restart all of the emissions just below to it let's introduce delay of one second and attach this uh, with scope function and emit two more values three and four and execute this function so here you can see we are getting the first emission second emission and we have the third emission and third emission is emitted after the attachment of the second collector that's the reason why i'm getting here second collector three and after that we are receiving the fourth emission 
on the first collector and fourth emission on the second collector so hot flow is a broadcast it broadcasts the latest value on all of the collector collect that information but with cold flow it is not the case if you attach a new collector it restart all of the emission and you will receive all of the previous values too but with hot flow it is not the case you will only receive the latest information or latest emissions so this is a main difference between cold flow and hot flow like my video subscribe my channel and also write your opinion in the comment we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about android till that goodbye